It's Senny and Finn's Games and Grabs Podcast. Now sponsored by Gamerborn Clothing. Go to gamerborn.co.uk and use code DDGAMING for 10% off your next order. What's happening, guys? Welcome to a special episode of the Games and Grabs Podcast. I'm Sunny, and here with me, as always, is Finn Steele. Hello! Finn, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm good. I'm glad that we've finally fixed any sort of issues that we may have been having. Yes. Hopefully. We think. <laughs> we think we have. Yes. We are live via satellite right now. Um, yes. Because reasons. Yeah. So, <laughs> live stuff. Yes. Life, life has a way. Yeah. Is that <laughs> from Jurassic Park? <laughs> life finds a way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So basically what we're doing here today is we just wanted to give you an update as to where we've been um, because our podcasts have been sort of, uh, you know, here and there. They've not been the weekly constant that they have been before. Uh, And that's basically because life stuff. Yeah, life stuff and technical bullshit. Yeah, so we did attempt a podcast just a couple of weeks back, but it didn't work. Um, Now... Microphones are where they should be. Headphones are where they should be. Yeah. And hopefully now, going forward, we can continue to bring you the weekly podcast as normal. Yes. Hopefully. We th- in theory. <laughs> in theory. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, if you listen to our podcast, you know that my life has changed a lot fairly recently. And it's just thrown everything out of whack. But now... Yeah, we're sort of hoping that everything's going to be good again. Yes, everything's back to normal now. Um, of course, it's would have to happen during E3 and all sorts of important stuff happening. But we'll get we'll get to that um, next week. Yeah, next, timing next, wasn't next great. Podcast. Yeah, well, it wasn't great. But uh, timing was poor. Yeah, but we'll, we'll still talk about all those stuff just to give our thoughts on it briefly. Absolutely. Yeah, Finn, as we're here. Okay. And we're doing this little mini podcast. Mini. Mini. Um, what have you been playing uh, since we last brought a podcast out, which was probably about three weeks ago now, I think? <laughs> probably. Um, well, in that three weeks, I bought myself a 4K TV, along with a PlayStation 4 Pro. And uh, yeah, I've been, been playing a lot of uh, Infamous, because it's one of the games I have, which actually sports uh, 4K and the HDR and all the fancy stuff. So Infamous First if- Light, right? Uh, yeah, that's the one. And okay. uh, it looks bloody amazing, I'd say. It looks really, really good. Colors are really sharp. Um, resolution is just amazing. And uh, yeah, it's worth the upgrade, I think. That's a good game as well. Really good. Yeah, I've forgotten how good the games are. Yeah. But uh, very impressed. Um, other than that, uh, more I've watched as always. Um, and that's about it. I beat Zelda. I think it's the oh. last, last time we tried to record the fail. But <laughs> failed. But uh, yeah, finally beat Zelda. Yay! Excellent. Excellent game. Do you know how many hours you put in? Um, I didn't, didn't there's like an account on the game, but I'd say probably around like 100 at least. Okay. Yeah. Long, long, long big, massive game. And yeah, just amazing. Go play it. Fair enough. <laughs> okay. Look, um, look at Mario when that comes out. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's coming this year, right? Yeah, yeah. Coming out this year. It's two huge, amazing Nintendo games in one year. Yeah. I mean, it, it looks crazy too. Like uh, the stuff they showed at E3 for it. Oh, yeah. It just looks like something that's never been done before with Mario. Yeah, yeah. Like possessing enemies with your hat and crazy stuff. It looks great. Can't wait for it. Because video games. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> because Nintendo. Because <laughs> Nintendo. And they do whatever they want. Exactly. Doesn't matter. Everyone else be down. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to ask. Mm. Um, obviously, you've bought a 4K TV and I a do. PlayStation Pro. Mm-hmm. Did you buy that using real money that you won on Monopoly? Uh, yes, I spent all my mules on uh, my new TV. And <laughs> <laughs> uh, good on mules. Uh, yeah, good on mules. This is just, uh, no, I just saw this. Look, I, I Argos had a cheap 4K TV and looks quite nice. So I thought, why the hell not? Got and it does look nice too. I mean, when I came to yours uh, the other day to pick up microphone or whatever, yeah, um, it has some beautiful lights on the back. I like that. Yeah, they're called like am- amber light, and it's like. Yeah, the colours match with it was in screen. It's like this, it's like a blue light, it's something blue on the right hand side. 
and yeah, it's really cool. It's awesome when you play video games and there's like an explosion and everything goes glows orange around the whole house. <laughs> You've got the lights turned off and everything. It's great. That it's rules. All, it's awesome. I look forward to you wearing glasses forever <laughs> and then getting progressively thicker as well. <laughs> yeah, thicker with the good glasses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Good times. Good times. What have you been playing these uh, past couple of weeks? Um, a lot of Pez. Nice. Talking. I'm still obsessed <laughs> with it. Yeah. I suppose I'm not like, just like counting footballs in my sleep or something <laughs> because I just play so much of it. Yeah. Every, every time I take on PSN, you're always like Provo. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's get a life. <laughs> nah, life's boring, not nice. Agreed. <laughs> um, more recently, I've been playing Dead by Daylight. Ah, uh, yes, of course. We did play that on stream. That's we game. did. It was a lot of fun. It's a really, really good game. Very good. Uh, I'm super into it. I think it's better than Friday the 13th. Oh, yeah. Which we've really. also been playing. Yep. I just think it works better. I just think it's a... I mean, it's not broken for a start, <laughs> which is great. Yeah, it works. Um... It's just more, yeah, it's just a it's just a very good game. Yeah, it's just a more polished experience, and everything works out as it should, and it's everything's balanced properly. And it's, yeah, it's always great to play. Yeah, it really, really does. So I'm looking forward to playing more of that. I mean, me and Denzel, we played like five hours of it. Nice. On, just on Saturday afternoon, <laughs> when we should realistically be doing more interesting and better things on a Saturday. Nah. But, um, what's, yeah, what's, what's, I guess that's, what's more interesting than being chased by like say your killer, special powers, and not trying to escape yeah, and start generating. That's true, actually. That is true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you're right. You're, uh, we, we spent our Saturday in the best way. Exactly. There Clearly. You <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, but other than that, not a lot. Um, I've, you know, I dipped into Forza Horizon 3 again. Yeah, nice. So I was enjoying that. But other than that, no, not not a great deal. Other than Pez. Mostly Pez. <laughs> Mostly Pez. But... Um, I, I, I've got so many games I need to play. I mean, Jesus Christ, how many times <laughs> do we say that? Literally and it's week. Like, <laughs> then the same thing every week. I'm like, yeah, I've just been playing Pez, not even touching <laughs> the backlog. Yeah. Uh, I've actually gone through a backlog and looked at like, what games support like PS4 Pro upgrades. And like, I'm going to try and play some of those if I can. <laughs> so okay. Got, got like Assassin's Creed in the gut, Titanfall 2, Watch Dogs 2. Imagine playing. Oh wait, Assassin's Creed has got a PS4 Pro update. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I think I think it's got quite 4K. I think it's more 2K, but it's still more than it was. So that's cool. It's cool. Okay, it's cool fair they, enough. It's cool, they took the time to upgrade it. Yeah, for sure. And I, I bet it looks amazing as well. It probably does. Yeah, I need to get back and play that. Yeah, cool. Um, obviously, when we do our big podcast, we'll go more in depth with all the E3 stuff and some of the stuff we've missed. Mm-hmm. Before we go, uh, obviously, you know we do our bets and stuff, right? So <laughs> maybe we should run through the money in the bank results because we did give predictions. We did. We just didn't hear them. Indeed, we did. Um, yes, I got them here. So Max. I could pull the results up if you can pull the predictions up. Uh, yep, I've got both. In fact, I've got both in my notes. Oh, well. <laughs> okay, you're prepared. I'm it's like a f- well first time for everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right so what do we have first first we had the women's money in the bank ladder match uh, and it was a bit weird um, yeah it was, it was really strange because I don't, I don't know I don't know what it was about it there was just something that didn't feel completely right yeah it felt too short to me like I don't mind the finish a lot of people seem to have a problem with the finish I don't mind that at all I thought it was done well um, yeah same to me I just thought it was like too short like the men's ladder match went on for a good length of time I just I felt like the women's match should have done the same and still could have had the same finish just done it later and more spots and more cool stuff going on but I mean it was it was fine it was decent but uh, yeah but the first women's, women's uh, ladder money in the bank match could have gone on a bit longer I thought yeah and the first uh, <clears throat> all women's money in the bank ladder match was won by a man uh, yeah kind of uh, but I, I thought you know it's, it's like classic heel stuff. Like, how do you piss people off in 2017? Um, I have a man women win a women's match. There you go. Everyone's pissed off, and it works. <laughs> Everyone is pissed off. <laughs> so there you go. Yeah, I mean that worked, didn't yeah. it? Essentially, it so. did absolutely. Yeah, for sure. Um, I had Carmella to win. You did. So you get a point for that. Well done. Ding. I went for the. Uh, I went for Charlotte. Uh, completely wrong there. 
But, yeah. but she did do a cool flippy moonsault thing off the rope, so that's cool. She did. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's her big spot, isn't it? That's it her thing. Yeah, everyone, everyone got their own little spot, which is nice. Yeah, which is good. I, I mean, with Ellsworth um, helping Carmella win, I think that was the only way that she could realistically win the match, you know? Yeah, I agree. Um, although they did take it off her again on SmackDown, which kind of sucks. But there was going to be a rematch on this week's SmackDown, which hasn't aired yet. Um, and I think he's going to win it again, to be honest with you. You think she will? I think she will, yeah. I hope so, because I think she'll be really good with the briefcase. Oh, yeah. Like, even when she came down during the women's match on Money in the Bank, like, I, I thought she was going to win it then. I thought, right, this <laughs> is this is it. Oh, yeah. But, um, well, obviously she didn't. But, yeah, uh, I think she'll be really good. She's she's a great heel. Ellsworth pisses everyone off, as he should. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was a fine match. Interesting result. Yeah. It was, it was fine. Yeah. I liked it. Yeah. Uh, so we had the, uh, pod, uh, maybe the second best match of the night. I was going to say best match of the night, but that match happened. So second mm. best match of the night, New Day versus the Usos. Us. Oh. Hey, there you go. <laughs> and it was a really, really good match. <laughs> um, it was a really good match. Great back and forth between the two teams. I think it had, I think it was better than it maybe had any right to be. <laughs> yeah, probably. Um, at one point, Kofi took like a crazy bump over the top rope, like missed the rope completely and just flew over onto the floor. Ouch. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's a why good risk? Match. Why risk yourself like that? I don't, I don't get know. it. I don't. It's like like Biggie's crazy spear to the rope. I don't know why he does that either. It's I like, can't believe yeah. he's still doing it as well. I know. So how have you not killed yourself yet? Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but it was a great match. It was really good. There was, was one little botchy spot. Um, Biggie tried to catch uh, one of the Usos doing a frog splash. He kind of mm. dropped him a little bit, but he just picked deadlifted him off the floor because screw you, I'm Biggie. I can do that. Yeah. <laughs> and um, it's yeah, because they went for the big ending, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. But, uh, and I think, I mean, Jesus. I mean, I'm pretty yeah. sure we can forgive him because. Oh yeah, absolutely. it was a cool spot, know. regardless. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, but uh, New Day win, but by count out. So yeah. Technically, you still get a point because you did, said New Day was going to win. So that's two to you, none to me. Boo. <laughs> Yay! Yay. Uh, that's Boo. a cheap one for me, though. Bit cheap. Bit cheap. It's a cheap point, it is. <laughs> but I'll did... take it, though. I will take it. Yeah, I'm okay with it because it means they're going to have another match down the line, and that match is excellent, so I'm more than happy with that. Yeah, me too. It was cool. Uh, so then we had uh, Naomi versus their debuting Lana. They're debuting in a wrestling ring anyway, kind of. Not really, though, because she had a match. It was her first ever singles match, wasn't it? Well, <laughs> it was, yeah. aired singles match. Yeah, exactly. Um, Lana came out in um, very little clothing, which, uh, you know, mm. it's quite fine yeah. to me. I don't know. Yeah, same. I mean, <laughs> I, you know, I was, I was okay with it. I, I don't know how practical it is for <laughs> wrestling him, yes, but, exactly. you know, I'll I'll take it. Yeah. Um, it's not a great wrestler, though, is she? Yeah, I'd just say. Yeah, <laughs> she she's. It reminds me of Eva Marie when she first started on. You know when she went to NXT and started having her like her first singles matches there. Yeah, yeah. It sort of reminded me of that. It's a little bit. Uh, she doesn't seem to have a whole lot of moves. A lot of like a couple of suplexes, a couple of awkward shoves and weird punches, and like mm. I don't actually know what I'm doing. Looking submissions. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Lot, and some like we want Rusev chance, which I thought was quite funny because he's usually yeah. around. Um, yeah, uh, she did the uh, finisher spine versus thing, which does look pretty cool. But uh, Naomi kicked out after when Kate Carmella came down with a briefcase, she's not going to cash it in. Um, but then Naomi won with like a submission thingy. Yeah, it was a it was a bit of an awkward match, really. Um, I mean, mainly because of Lana. Let's. <laughs> not beat around the bush about it. That is it. It's because of Lana. A little bit. She's not great. With time, she'll get better, I'm certain of that. But oh, yeah. it's... At the minute... I don't know, man. I'm not... I mean, I like her. I like her presence. <laughs> I like her look, obviously. The gimmick is a little weird to me, it must be said. Yeah, it's like weird dancing... Thing I don't know, I get it. Yeah, but I, I'm rooting for. Her. I root for all the girls that come in. I really do. But <sighs> I don't know, man. It, this maybe this is going to be the Eva Marie replacement because <laughs> uh, right now I don't see Eva coming back. Oh uh, yeah, just taking like all like um, mention of WWE off her like Twitter profile. It's just like, well, 
maybe she's not going to come back. <laughs> I, doubt, I doubt they're going to like uh, renew a contract, is they? Yeah, but to my knowledge, she's not on the next season of Total Divas either. I could Divas. be wrong, but Divas, <laughs> I could be wrong, but uh, I don't think I am wrong. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be surprised. Mm. Um, goodness. oh, let me add some uh, like a fashion vice, like Mary Vice kind of thing, with uh, Rutango, <laughs> which is uh, very funny as as it always is. Yeah, they are really, <laughs> really funny. Yeah, um, Fandango is holding a big phone, big like old ages phone, mobile phone, sort of like property of Paulie. <laughs> Which was like, yeah, ah, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> and then they were challenged to a match by a VHS tape. Oh, two, yeah, I mean, two shadowy I... Ascension shaped figures. Yeah, I knew <laughs> straight away. And as soon as the Ascension came out, I skipped it. <laughs> yeah. I skipped the match. And I know this match was a bit later on, but it was. I mean, the Ascension lost, so why even build it up? I know, it's just a shame. It's so good in NXT, and I'll just, just yeah. They'll be released. I mean, that they won't. They won't do anything now. I mean, they, they're too far gone. Yeah, there's not really much they can do now, is there? It's like unless they completely oh, no. change the gimmick and come back as completely different like personas or whatever. But maybe. But I mean, this was the time. I mean, if they were gonna, I don't know. It's just weird. I don't get it. What's the point? What yeah. was the point in that? Exactly. I agree. A lot of attention to lose. Right. <laughs> oh, but then we have some uh, mystery music playing. Um, like some love kind of music, and then yeah. uh, Mike and Maria Canellis came out. Not not better. Right. Mike and Maria Kelly and Canellis. <laughs> <Canelli. laughs> so what do you think to this? What's, what what are your thoughts here? I like it. I like you I like, like it. Yeah, I like Mike, Mike Bennett. I like Maria, obviously. Um, okay. Yeah, something something power of love. Sure, it was fine. Um, I like that they're skipping NXT and just going straight to the main roster. Yeah. Um, right, I'm looking forward to seeing more of it. When I mean, when I first saw it, I was like, I was, you know what? My reaction was exactly what JBL's reaction was. Oh, oh yeah, what was that? Oh, he's taken her name. Oh, yeah, it is a bit weird, but I guess but, they can't. I don't know if they can call him Mark, Mike Bennett, or maybe they're just bringing him WWE and calling him whatever they want. Isn't that his name, Mike Bennett? Yeah, I think it is. Oh, I don't know. I get um, <laughs> my thinking here behind this is. They're going to have, like, Mike and Maria do this lovey-dovey stuff every week on SmackDown. But I think it's going to be a case where Maria is going to be the talker, the main talker. Yes. But someone's going to try and have a pop at Maria, and then Mike Bennett's going to snap. Click of a finger type thing. Hmm, interesting. I think it could be something like that. That's the only way I really see this working in the long run. But um, I was excited to see Mike Bennett, uh, and Maria, of course, as well. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, I've had I'm the, just interested to see where it goes. Yeah, I've had the music stuck in my head for like weeks as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we had uh, Randy Orton versus Jinder Mahal with a bunch of old guys at ringside. Yeah. <laughs> I knew they were going to get involved. I just oh, yeah. knew it. Of course, it had to be. Uh, Big Flair, Sergeant Slaughter, they had um, uh, Bob Orton, etc. Yep. Um, and it's kind of very similar to the last match. Um, it was, yeah. Randy, um, Singh Brothers Interference. Yep, Interference Interfere uh, to get thrown around by Randy. Um, Randy hit RKO, but Singh's pull, pull him out uh, from under the rope, or put him on the rope, or whatever. Um, ref goes to disqualify him, but Randy changes his mind. Um, but then the Singh's grab Randy's dad and turn to beat him up, and then kind of Sun Slot just kind of stands there and watches. So what's happening? <laughs> yeah. Everyone, everyone else kind of stood up and like, oh, stop what you're doing. And Sun Slot would just stand there watching, <laughs> or sitting there watching. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I just knew it. I knew, I knew the Singh brothers would get involved. I knew the legends would get involved, especially his dad, because his dad was there and <laughs> made a big deal out of it and all this sort of stuff. So, okay, fine. Just... But it was a very much a let's get this match out of the way. Yeah, so Jinder can now move on to something else type of match. Pretty much, yeah. And I do look forward to seeing what Jinder does next because, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm, I like him. I mean, he hasn't done a lot since becoming champion, but I think he's doing enough. He's pushing his character. Um, hey, yeah. look, and he's winning matches and keeping the belt, and that's going to piss people off to the max. Oh, yes, and that's the point. He's a heel. He's supposed to piss you off. Exactly. So Internet. as long as that keeps happening, <laughs> I'm I'm fine with it. I'd rather Jinder be the champion than Randy Orton anyway. Oh, yeah, me too, for sure. Randy, Randy's had his time now, many times. <laughs> yeah, which which begs the question, what's next for him? Yes, I don't know. 
I think you can still wrestle like big matches with. I don't know, like AJ Styles maybe got like that. Yeah, but AJ Styles rules. He does. He's yeah. pretty great. Yeah. <laughs> so Jinder Mahal. Oh wait, we've been skipping the predictions here. Oh yeah. Um. So we both said um, uh, Jinder would win, obviously. And they both won't. Both get a point for that. Ding. And um, ding ding. And the Emmy versus Lana. Uh, we both said Naomi win, so we both get a point there as well. Ding. So that brings up to four, uh, you with four and me with two. Yeah. So you, I literally can't win. Um, <laughs> so that brings us to our men's money in the bank ladder match. Uh, and it was really bloody good, wasn't it? Oh, it was bloody <laughs> wonderful. It was, it was great. It was very and good. I knew it would be as well. Oh, yeah. Had to be. All the big names. Um, yeah. So as Nakamura was coming down to the ring, uh, Baron Corbin, sneaky heel, attacks him during his entrance. Yeah. Now I've gone there talking smack. It's like, I don't have time to wait for his five minute long entrance. I want to get there and win the match. It's like, good. I like that. I like, I like that heel tactics <laughs> now I just want to point out here before we get to the end result of the match yeah uh, I said that Baron Corbin would be the champion this year at some point you did and it's looking fairly likely now <laughs> yeah um, so you had Nakamura to win this I had uh, Kevin I Owens I did yeah so we were both wrong we were sadly yeah we suck <laughs> but there were some cool spots in the match Sammy was great as always Kevin Owens was oh, yeah. great as always um, the bit between Nakamura and AJ was goosebump inducing. Oh yeah, like a stare off and like a little fight. It was very good. Yeah, That's they the- move the ladder out of the way, and he's like, "Yeah, this is the shit that I want." Yes, let's give me wrestling, this. Wrestling, all of this. wrestling, wrestling. Uh, but yeah, there's some crazy spots in there. Like Owens getting thrown on top of a, like a open ladder, yeah. which breaks the ladder. And Sammy has to like grab a new ladder because that ladder's broken. Uh, <laughs> That's like a massive sunset flip power bomb off the top of the ladder to Ziggler. Um, crazy stuff. This phenomenal forearm by Tutami as he was climbing the ladder. Yeah. So, many, so, many, so many cool things. Um, yeah, I love that above camera as well. I know it's been around oh, for yeah. a long time now, but I love that. The Wiley Coyote, well, Wiley Coyote cam, they call it. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. it, yeah. <laughs> Very it's cool. It's good, man. But yeah, Baron Corbin won. He did, yes. Um, what do you cool. think? I like it. Um, I think... Out of everyone, he needed it more, I think. Because Nakamura's going to be huge anyway. Kevin Owens going to be huge. Sammy Rollins, Sami Zayn, uh, etc. Uh, Dolph, Dolph's had his time. He wasn't going to win it again. Um, yeah, time to time to be released now, Dolph. <laughs> yeah, time to <laughs> move on to bigger things, maybe. Uh, no, that's fine. Um, but uh, no, yeah, Baron Corbin's great. Um, he's definitely a top level heel going forward, so I think. Yeah. Uh, not quite there yet, but definitely can be in the future. Yeah, I think so. I mean, if they build him up enough, I mean, look at Jinder. Exactly. Yeah, there you he go. was doing nothing before, and now he's the champion, and everyone hates him, and that's great. Yeah. Uh, Baron Corbin will be brilliant. Um, I've no two ways about. I've I've no sort of second thoughts about it. I think he will be awesome as champion. Oh yeah. He just needs to be dominant, you know. I agree. I think he will be. I think he'll be booked. Uh, booked well. Yeah. Now, I know I had a theory on the podcast that we recorded that was never heard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I have a theory again. Okay. So, Baron Corbin's won the title. Mm-hmm. Um, I see Cena be, being the one to beat Jinder. Right. Because th- if I'm right, Cena comes back next week. Uh, July the, the Freedom. Yeah, July the 4th. Independence that's Day. Yeah, that's the one. Okay. <laughs> Cena freedom. comes back then. We'll start a feud with Jinder. Mm-hmm. Maybe, I don't know. Cena wins. And Lol. then down the line, Cena will be the one to lose the belt to Baron Corbin. Ah, interesting. That'd be cool. That'd be cool, right? It would be, yeah. Yeah. Let's see that. Yeah, that'd be awesome. And yeah, so Money in the Bank was good. Out of 10, what'd you give it? In fact, no. How do we do this? School grades, right? Uh, Sure. I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> it's been so long. Uh, no. It has yeah. been so long. I will give it. Hmm, let's see. I'll give it an A minus. A minus. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna give it a B. Okay. I I thought um everything was good apart from maybe it's Lana, which is kind of a bit yeah. Um, Manny versus Jinny was fine, but as you said, it was kind of predicted, uh, predictable. Same thing happened that happened last match pretty much. Um, but other than that, I thought everything else was uh, pretty excellent. Okay. Fair enough. Um, I'm only giving it a B because of the misstep with the women's ladder match. Oh, yeah, there's that as well. Lana versus Naomi and the 
pointless fashion police versus the Ascension match. Good point. I didn't forget about those already. Let's <laughs> uh, it to B plus. I give it to B plus. B plus. Yeah, the, men, the men's money money back ladder was just so good. They made up for a lot of yeah. scorecards. <laughs> yeah, I agree. That's fair enough. Okay, so that was money in the bank. Good times. Yeah, good times. So, boys and girls, this has been a special episode of the Games and Graps podcast. Yay. We'll be back to normal, putting out a podcast every single Friday across podcast services everywhere. Everywhere. And youtube.com forward slash Sunny Finn Play. And youtube.com forward slash Daydreamer Gaming. Absolutely. Go follow us on Twitter at Games Ungraps. Ungraps. But for now, I'm Sunny. I'm Finn. And we will speak to you next time. Thank you very much for listening, guys. Take care. Goodbye. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Divas.